you're here because you want to create a or use a video or a movie as a texture. So I'm using Blender 3.4. It's super duper easy to do. I'm just going to show you how to do that. So the, in order to get a texture into Blender or a movie into Blender as a texture, you are simply going to move it directly from the file you have. So I have a video here. I'm just going to drag and drop it. So it's super simple to get it in there. Your treat Blender is treating it just like it's an image texture. And I could plug this into my principal BSDF if I wanted to. I could also plug it into an emission shader. Like if you wanted it to look more like a TV and emit a lot of light, you could plug it there. Uh, I'm using Node Wrangler, so I hit Control T after that. And already right there, you have the texture. But because you can use it exactly like an image texture, if I on if I just put it into edit mode, I can see here that I have it and I can shift it around. So I want to be able to specifically view it from a particular place. So if I select this part of it, or let's select this part. So I want this part to be the main part, the main part that I'm viewing. So I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to scale it up, grab it, and I'm going to put it there. And this is not quite the way I want it to be. So I'm going to hit unwrap and I'm going to actually, I'm going to go to front view. I'm going to select this portion. Then I'm going to say unwrap and I'm going to do project from view. That way I'll get the exact right, the exact right proportions. And I'm just going to grab it and put it somewhere on the screen here so that it doesn't look cut off. Now, right there, that's how you can use your, your video. Then in order to actually see it and actually, actually get it to play, you need to select cyclic and auto refresh. So now if I play it, you can see that it is in fact playing. However, this is not the part of the video that I actually want to show. So Blender allows you to pick the specific portion of the video you care about. And right now it's only going to show me the first 100 frames of my video. So I want to be able to see the whole thing. So I'm just going to drag that out to be about 600. And my video, my clip is really short. So if your clip is longer, you might have to create quite, uh, quite a bit more frames here. You show quite a bit more frames. So I'm going to put 600 here. And this is how many frames it's going to play of my video. So this means it's going to show me the first 600 frames. And if I scrub through my video, I see this part right here, but I only want the part where Ryu, Ryu is walking. So I'm just going to find out exactly when that frame happens. That is frame number 375. So the offset is where it starts. So I want it to start at frame 375. So I'm just going to type 375 into that. So now it will start start at 375 and I only want to play this part where he's walking so as soon as that truck gets in the scene I want to have it then repeat so that is 123 so for frames I'm going to put 123 here and now if I were to just play this Right, and it's not playing as fast as it's only playing at at 12 frames per second. It's set to 24 frames per second, but you kind of get the idea. I'm going to tab out of edit mode, and you can see right now that it's just playing the same loop over and over again. And I could do this for however many frames. There's only 121, and I'm on frame number 300 and something now. It's playing. So this allows you to use the video texture as a video as a texture and just so you know how so you know that it works i'm going to go into into ev's render mode and you see that it still works and even if i go ahead in here change this to cycles and this is a really simple scene and you can see that i still have it showing here so that's it it's super easy to use a texture as a or a video or movie as a texture all you got to do is drag it in there 
make sure that you have cyclic and auto refresh selected or it will not work. And remember offset is where it starts. One is becomes wherever offset is set to and 123, depending on what you have for one here is just the last frame you want to show or how, how many frames the video clip is you care about. So that's it. That's all you need to know. If you're interested in learning more about getting started with Blender, check out my cheat sheet. Uh, it should be in a link. It should be in a link in the description. See you on the next one.